Hello and welcome back to Mosquito Bites Live as part of our National Mosquito Control Awareness Week campaign. My name is Pablo Cabrera at the San Gabriel Valley Mosquito and Vector Control District. Once again, this is Mosquito Bites Live where we've been having casual conversations on what's trending this entire week. We've had incredible guests so far. We were joined by Shasta Mosquito um, Control on Monday and yesterday. We had a great conversation uh, with Coolier Mosquito in Florida. And today I'm super excited to be joined by the Global Program, uh, which is an incredible program that will get lots of great questions. And before we get started, I also want to give a great shout out to all the other incredible vector control districts out there that have been doing some really, really cool stuff all week long. It's so exciting to see this great conversation about mosquitoes all week, especially getting awareness and prevention about mosquitoes and the vector-borne diseases that they can spread. So without further ado, I see Global App you have joined. Let me go ahead and invite you in. And conversation started. Hopefully getting you on here soon. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for uh, doing this live with us today. Been super excited uh, to have you guys with us. Yeah, thanks for having us. We're we're really excited about this week and everything you all are doing to raise awareness for mosquitoes. Definitely. Well, I want to give you a moment to introduce yourself, where you're coming from, and a little bit about yourself. Sure. My name is Mindy De Paula, and I am a program specialist here with the GLOBE program. Um, I work out of the GLOBE implementation office, which is located in Boulder, Colorado. And I am an environmental epidemiologist by training. Awesome. And can you give a little uh, in info as to what your training is specifically? Because I know epidemiology and all those things get thrown out there and it can get a little confusing. What exactly is that? Sure, yeah. So epidemiologists um, really study diseases and populations where they come from um, and how to how to prevent them um, and how to prevent these diseases. So I've worked before in air pollution and also in vector borne diseases. And so with mosquitoes, I'm back in mis uh, vector borne disease, the, the world of vector borne diseases. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, that's so cool to hear uh, and the incredible work that you are doing with the global program. So my first question is, uh, just basically like an elevator speech. If I were to bump into you, into, into you on an elevator, how would you describe the global program to me? Yeah, uh, the GLOBE program does a lot, so it depends on what floor we're going to, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the GLOBE program in general is an international STEM education program um, intended both for K-12 through students and just for the public um, worldwide. And it's really just a fun and interactive opportunity to contribute to the understanding of the earth and the environment in a really meaningful way, because we hope that everyone, students, teachers, community members, scientists, um, work together and, and just try to improve the environment that we're all living in. That's really cool. And it's such a great point, too, to emphasize about education amongst uh, our youth and ranging all the way from elementary to middle school and high school. We have our education program here at San Gabriel Valley Mosquito and Vector Control District EcoHealth. And that's really the main initiative is bringing that core education to young minds at that uh at such an early age. We have preschoolers that totally. uh, want to go out and dump out stagnant water. Um, one really cool thing that uh, following up on uh, the GLOBE program is I know that you guys are sponsored by NASA. Are you guys a program under NASA or are you guys a separate entity of NASA? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, <laughs> it is a, a bit of a complicated structure, but the GLOBE program is really made possible by, by a few different um, U.S. government agencies. So that's NASA, NOAA, the, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, um, the U.S. Department of State, NSF, which is the National Science Foundation. So NASA is our lead agency for GLOBE in the United States, which means they're really the main folks responsible for administering what we call bilateral agreements between the U.S. government and then the governments of all our um, partner nations who we call our GLOBE, GLOBE countries. So they're really the lead agency, but we are sponsored by, supported by a few different agencies here. 
That's really cool. And I'm sure uh, that's such great support having from such large entities. And most importantly, bringing at the end of the day, awareness to vector borne diseases and the diseases they can spread. Um, once again, this is Mosquito Bites Live. My name is Pablo from the San Gabriel Valley Mosquito and Vector Control District. And I'm joined by Mindy, who's joining us from the GLOBE program. And we just talked about what is the GLOBE program and how it's supported uh, and basically how it came to be. And my second question is, how do you, the general public, get involved with the GLOBE program? Yeah, so you can get onto our website at globe.gov. And you can look at different resources and ways to get involved there. Um, if you're a K through 12 student or teacher, I would encourage you to look at the schools and communities that are active on our website as well. Um, there's, we have a lot of GLOBE schools nationwide and internationally. So, so chances are there's one near you or maybe you go to a school and you didn't know that it was a GLOBE school yet. Um, and if not, you can talk to somebody um, either within the GLOBE program at, or at your school, and we can get you involved. But anyone can use the app. So we do have the GLOBE um, Observer app, and you can download it on your phone, and you can start taking observations, um, and, and the app walks you through how to do that. That's really cool. And I definitely, I've been on your guys' website, and it's such a great resource, especially for teachers and students and I think especially now when so many teachers and students were uh, teaching from home and learning right. virtually, uh, that was so cool that all this information is and has always kind of been there and it was something that I that I'm hoping that a lot of teachers and students took advantage of and hopefully beyond uh, once we go back into in-class teaching uh, teachers and students are still able to use it and integrate it as part of their education. Yeah, there's so many resources, not only for mosquitoes, but also um, a bunch of other um, environmental protocols that we have. You can do e-training, and there are specific mosquito resources um, through Globe Observer and through the Globe Zika project um, that are available. And again, resources for students and teachers and um, just the general public. That's really, really cool. Um, so once again, my name is Pablo, and I'm joined by Mindy, who's joining us from the GLOBE program. And we went over what is the GLOBE program and how can you uh, get involved as part of the GLOBE program. And my third question is, what are some of the GLOBE program's mosquito project accomplishments so far? Yeah, that's a great question, because we love to talk about the GLOBE <laughs> Zika Education and Prevention Project. So this project began back in 2018, um, and our main sponsor for this project was funder was the U.S. Department of State, and with support from all of our local communities internationally. So this was mainly in our three regions: um, Africa, Asia, and Pacific, in Latin America and Caribbean. Um, we received over 200,000 observations from 75 different globe countries. So that's global. That's a lot of different observations about mosquitoes, their larvae, and the habitats they're living in. And because of this massive community engagement, the data we're collecting can be used by public health officials um, like folks at mosquito and vector control districts um, and other scientists to make important decisions about how to control the spread of mosquito-borne diseases. That's really cool. And I think you brought a really good point there about uh, the GLOBE program and it being global, because I think with so many things, we tend to, you know, subconsciously, we live in our own little bubbles uh, of what's just going on in our world. And we need to also understand that there's things happening at a global level. And I think that's so important that you guys are bringing not only all that data together into one uh, place where us in public health and in vector control can use, but also people are constantly adding to the data because as I'm sure you know, fresh data is always much more um, uh, useful than data that was used uh, uh, years before. Yeah, yeah, and it's also, it's been, um, it was a really cool program internationally too, especially as the pandemic has shown, um, public health really knows no boundaries and neither really do mosquitoes, so. Um, it's nice to keep everyone connected and involved in learning with each other and from each other. Definitely. And um, you, uh, you also touched base a little bit on uh, Zika. Zika was almost inching to what we've experienced with COVID. Uh, did you guys kind of come out uh, of uh, or re um, 
uh, emerge because of Zika or were you guys already working on the GLOBE program before that? So the GLOBE program has been around, um, for, we just had our 25th anniversary last year. So it's been around for quite a while. Um, the Zika project was just since 2018 and that came out of, like you said, um, when we had a lot of attention on Zika in a lot of countries. Um, and so that was kind of how the, how the project started with GLOBE. But GLOBE has been doing a lot of good work for a long time. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, so again, my name is Pablo and I'm joined here by Mindy who's joining us from the GLOBE program. And we went over what is exactly the GLOBE program. And we've also touched base on how you as uh, the general public can be citizen scientists in your own community uh, by uh, looking at these mosquito habitats. And then lastly, some accomplishments that the GLOBE program uh, has been a part of. And one of the coolest things is producing that data that's being able to use uh, by public health agencies like us in vector control and um, having it in as one resource and having the general public being a part of that conversation. And one really good thing that I really liked um, that you guys also emphasize is the fact that, you know, mosquitoes are a global uh, uh, situation like what we've experienced with COVID. It's not just in our own little bubbles. Everyone globally <laughs> hates mosquitoes. Everyone loves to tell me their mosquito horror stories or show me their mosquito bites. And um, I think that's one great thing that the GLOBE program does is really kind of uniting that and making it kind of a unison data that we can understand mosquito habitats and uh, the different species because I'm, as I'm sure you know, there are tons of mosquito species out there. It's not just one and the ones that can transmit um, vector-borne diseases to us, those are the ones that are most harmful and can pose threats to us in uh, public health. Totally. And so Mindy, before I leave you here, I have my last question that I ask everyone uh, during these Mosquito Bites Live is, if you were a mosquito, what would your name be? <laughs> um, well, my name's Mindy, so the alliteration there goes together. But to, uh, to pull it back to Globe, I could say, uh, probably Wanda. It's unconventional, but she's my favorite character in our Zika Zines comic, which is on our website at globe.gov. So we have this really cool um, comics that were developed in conjunction with some folks here um, in Boulder. And yeah, it's a really cute comic strip. And one of the main characters in it is named Wanda. So I'll go with that. Wanda the Mosquito. I like it. <laughs> So, Mindy, before I, I leave you here, do you have any final words that you'd like to share uh, with our people who are viewing today about the GLOBE program or anything that people can do? Yeah, I just encourage you to get onto the globe.gov website. There's so many resources there for mosquitoes and for so many other environmental um, things that are happening right now that you might be interested in and just that everybody can be a scientist and hopefully the GLOBE program can help you with that. Definitely. I really love that, that everyone can be a scientist in our own backyards. We don't have to be in a lab or have a fancy degree to be uh, contributing to scientists. We can all be scientists in our backyards. And that's one of the main things that we focus with our education program, uh, Vector Education, is we have citizen scientists all over the Sangir Valley and they can be globally contributing uh, to science. So that's a really, really good point. And another thing that you mentioned as well, um, which the CDC also is adopting is uh, the idea of One Health. There are so many things that affect us within public health that we've seen, especially now uh, because of COVID, that it's not just one thing is gonna affect everything. There's a multitude of things, the environment, um, how we uh, um, reduce, reuse, recycle, or how uh, we interact with our own environment all can affect public health and uh, vector-borne diseases are a part of that. So that's so important. And I definitely recommend everyone to look into the GLOBE program, download the app. I have the app on my phone. Uh, it's Yay. a really cool <laughs> program. Yes, it's a lot of fun to go through. Uh, and I, of course, I'm always subconsciously looking at stagnant water anyway, so I might as well be adding that to a database somewhere. Um, so definitely download the app and look at the GLOBE program. It's such an incredible resource for teachers and students out there uh, to use. And uh, again, feel free uh, to look at the GLOBE program and see all the stuff that they have available for people to use freely. Yeah, thanks so much, Pablo. And thanks everybody for tuning in.
Yeah, thank you so much for all the comments. And again, this was uh, Mosquito Bites Live as part of National uh, Mosquito Control Awareness Week. Uh, today we were joined by Mindy from the GLOBE program, and we've had some great conversations. We hope to continue bringing these incredible conversations with all of you uh, during uh, our time with Mosquito Bites Live. So until next time, I will chat with you guys next time. Hopefully Ada will stay away from me. She's our pesky <laughs> mosquito here that uh, never ceases to uh, to amaze us in what she can do. Uh, but again, Mindy, thank you so much for joining us and we hope to see you guys soon and collaborate some way soon. Yeah, thanks again. Thank you, bye.